Ms. Nagaspruti, congratulations on securing All India Rank 91 in GATE 2023 in Electrical Branch of Engineering. Thank you, sir. Nagaspruti, you please introduce yourself briefly. Uh, sir, I am a 2021 passed out student from NIT Puducherry. Since then, I am completely preparing for GATE. Last year, I have taken classroom coaching from ACE Hyderabad. Good. So, you are the student of uh, ACE Academy and you have taken the classroom coaching from Hyderabad. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Next, Ruthi. Uh, can you please describe how this ACE Academy classroom coaching helped you uh, in your preparation and securing All India Rank 91? Sir, classroom coaching was very helpful because we can have direct interaction with the faculty. And uh, when we are sitting in the classroom, our concentration level will also be at a very good level. And I listened the classes very seriously, sir. And after the classes got over, I used to go to the faculty immediately and clear my doubts on the same day itself. So it was very helpful. And I would like to thank... Uh, uh, control system, sir, Krishna Varma, sir, Narasimham, sir, uh, Transformers, sir, and uh, Srinivas, sir, and Power Electronics, sir, and every faculty, sir, they have taught in their own unique way. So it was very helpful, sir. Okay. Good, Nagasruti. Uh, Nagasruti, uh, you were having classes in the daytime there, right, in our Hyderabad Center. You please tell us, uh, after completion of this uh, classwork, when you go back to your room, so how you used to prepare further? Sir, mainly after coming from the classroom, I used to complete that uh, no, uh, class notes, sir. I used to study that notes very thoroughly after coming back. Then, uh, and I used to solve the classroom problems also again. Uh, so... During classes, I have done only this, sir. Then in November and December, I have done my preparation mainly. Okay. Your coaching was uh, completed by the month of uh, November, I think, right? Uh, by October ending, it was completed. October so. ending, the syllabus was completed, your classroom coaching syllabus, right? Mm. So from November onwards, yes, when sir. you were not having the class work there. Mm. Yes, so the entire daytime, of course, in the night time also, Per day, how many hours you used to prepare on an average? And how you used to prepare this one? Did you prepare only one subject? What was the strategy during that uh, three months of time? Uh, sir, my main strategy was to focus completely on the notes, sir. Because uh, notes covered each and everything. Like all the previous year questions, all the important points covered even in ESC also. Like uh, the faculty notes was very good. So during whole day, I used to study approximately six to eight hours because whenever I was studying, I was studying with uh, like very good concentration. I don't want to study when I, even uh, if I'm not concentrated like that. So uh, I have uh, done only one subject at a time, sir. First, I covered all the basic subjects. Uh, so... I have uh, read the main notes, sir, like in an analytical way, which helped especially in this 2023 paper, sir. Because in this 2023 electrical paper, they have tested our analytical ability as well as numerical solving approach. But in previous years, it was more on numerical solving. So this uh, way of studying the notes helped me in this year, sir, to get a good rank. Okay. In that uh, three months of time, uh, how many times you might have revised each subject thoroughly? Sir, only once, sir. Once you revise. Only one time you revise. Yes, but sir. But how could you remember it in that examination? Yes, sir. The main reason was I used to spend like almost double the time compared to my fellow aspirants, sir, on notes. So since I spent that much time, it was like automatically stored in my brain. So for revision, it did not take much time for me. Okay, right. Now, Sruti, when you were attending the classes, you might have prepared that the classroom running notes, isn't it? Yes, sir. Apart from this class running notes, did you prepare any further short notes as such? Uh, actually, it is very beneficial to make short notes, sir. But I didn't have sufficient time to make short notes. So for some subjects, I have underlined in my main notes, sir. 
and for some subjects i have used my friends short notes sir for revision for revision in january okay honestly speaking sir right 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 sir we want the honest interview on the nagasuthi okay nagasuthi you prepared mainly that yes uh, coaching uh, classroom coaching running notes right yes sir in addition to this did you ever refer to any test book on any topic is test books necessary first of all no sir i think for gate is it is not necessary necessary sir because faculty itself they teach up to a very good level like even like for some topics for background they teaches even uh, level more than gate also mm. so it is not required sir the like class is most sufficient. okay and agasruti for uh, problem solving skills development and to see the gate type of questions etc normally the students who prepare for the gate examination they refer to pyqs previous year's questions of the gate examination so how you used to do that practice with the pyqs sir while solving pyqs uh, my main approach was i used to keep time limit sir i will take one chapter i'll keep some time limit and used to solve but uh, for some questions it will even take 5 10 minutes also sir like but the only thing is we should not give up on problems like many people give up when a difficult problem comes and they will see the solution but i did not do that sir i will solve all the questions and i will mark if i do not get any questions then i will go back to the main notes and refer to the particular concept on which it is asked and i will try to solve it again and then if i do not get then i used to refer the solution sir so this approach helped me like while solving pyqs i did uh, very seriously sir okay and one more for this gate examination you require uh, a practice how to use this virtual calculator is it data Yes, sir. So how you could uh, uh, do this one in your preparation? Yes, sir. Because during classroom coaching, faculty encouraged us to use virtual calculator from mobile phones, sir. So because of that, we were using it for six months, and then again during three months. So I got used to it, sir. Okay. And moreover, if you take a ES yes, mock test series also, in all ES yes, mock test series, we use that the virtual calculator only on the screen. Yes, sir. Uh, did you take that mock test also from ES Academy? Yes, sir. I took mock tests also, sir. Right. How many tests you must have taken totally? Sir, totally I wrote some ten to twelve full length mock tests, sir. Full length mock tests, and also you have the subject based tests also, combinations of it also. You have the test. Sir, actually, I definitely we should write those tests also, but I did not write, sir. Okay. In your case, after completion of entire syllabus revision, <laughs> you took mainly the mock test, right? Because much time was not there, sir. To complete syllabus, it took more time, so I wrote full length mock tests. Okay, right. Now, Sruti, uh, is it your second attempt or first attempt in the gate exam? Sir, it is my third attempt, sir. In 2021, I wrote, but it was not without any preparation. So I just qualified. Then in 2022, I wrote uh, with the uh, preparation itself but i could not complete the whole syllabus sir so in that attempt i got 3853 sir and this is my third attempt sir third attempt you took a classroom coaching from ace academy that to prepare the entire syllabus yes sir so practice revision and all that fits to this 91 rank right yes sir yes, good nagasruti what are you going to do with this 91 rank are you thinking of joining psu otherwise mtech in iits sir mostly i'm thinking to go for psu sir PSU jobs. Yes, okay. Now, Sruti, from this uh, successful journey in the gate examination, uh, yes, can you please share with the other aspirants of the uh, what you call gate exam, particularly in the electrical branch, some tips and suggestions which will help them in securing good rank in the gate exam? Sir, mainly gate exam is like a marathon, sir. So right from the day one of preparation, they have to do hard work and they should be consistent in their preparation. we should not uh, relax in between till the gate exam and the second thing is uh, gate exam is also more about accuracy sir so uh, while writing test series instead of focusing like on how many more questions they are attempting they have to focus more on accuracy sir like how many questions they are attempting more correctly so because of that uh, then slowly they can also improve the number of questions with practice and by writing more number of tests so if they do that definitely they will get good rank sir okay right uh. and ah uh, please go ahead go ahead and also some students like they might have done very uh, uh, like very good hard work but still they do not get the result sir for them i want to tell don't give up 
definitely you have to give it a try once more because there are so many factors uh, in exam which will fetch the rank it doesn't decide our capability so if you believe that you are capable and you have that potential then definitely you should give it a try again right good good nice to think i think these points will be very helpful to the aspirants of the gate examination so i once again congratulate you and wish you all good luck on in all your future uh, endeavors with next thank you sir thank you so much is convey our best wishes to your uh, parents and friends also thank you sir god bless you nagasuti god bless you thank you sir